Samsung has just dropped a new internal beta build of One UI 8, and we've been putting it to the test. So far, the results are interesting. But the big question is, is Samsung actually on the right track with this update? Let's get into it. We've been testing internal builds of One UI 8 for a few weeks now, and here's the truth. Don't expect a major overhaul. If you were hoping for a huge visual redesign or groundbreaking features, this build doesn't deliver that. In fact, even in the latest version, the changes are minor, and the size of the update, just around 800 Mamadoribers, reflects that. Now before you get disappointed, there's a reason for this. One UI 8 doesn't appear to be a massive leap forward. In terms of features or interface, it seems more like a refinement, a polish of what One UI 7 tried to do but didn't quite execute smoothly. So, is that a bad thing? Not necessarily but Samsung needs to make sure it gets this release absolutely right. Let's talk specifics. One of the small but notable changes is that the Tips app, which wasn't functioning in earlier beta builds, now works properly. That may sound like a small win, but it's a sign that Samsung is gradually ironing out bugs and tightening up the system. The app now includes a banner that will eventually let beta testers submit their feedback, so Samsung is clearly preparing the system to go public soon, but honestly, there's nothing here that's going to blow your mind, at least not yet, and that brings us to the bigger picture. Samsung has had a rough year. The launch of One UI 7 didn't go as smoothly as many had hoped. There were delays, inconsistencies, and a general lack of confidence around the rollout. Many users reported bugs, and others were left wondering when, or if, they'd ever get the update. That's not a great look for a company that prides itself on premium devices and a flagship user experience. So now, One UI 8 is a chance at redemption. The fact that Samsung is testing this internally ahead of schedule is actually a very good sign. It suggests that the beta program for One UI 8 could be launching soon, much sooner than previous cycles. And this time, it's coming alongside Android 16, Google's latest version of its operating system. In the past, Samsung was often late to the Android party. New Android versions would be released, and Galaxy device owners would be left waiting, months before they saw the update. But now, Samsung seems to be aligning its One UI release with Google's Android 16 timeline. That's a big improvement. Users get the latest features and security updates faster, and it shows that Samsung is finally syncing up with Google's ecosystem in a better way. But, and this is a big but, speed isn't everything. Samsung needs to ensure that the quality of the rollout matches the pace. There should be no repeats of what happened with One UI 7. No broken features, no unclear timelines, no confusing region-based availability. Just a clean, stable rollout that brings Android 16 and a refined One UI experience to Galaxy users everywhere. That's easier said than done, of course. But it's not impossible. Samsung has the resources and the user base to make it happen, if they're focused and careful. So what does all of this mean for you, the user? If you're a Galaxy Z Fold 6 user, or you own any recent Samsung flagship, you can probably expect the One UI 8 beta to land on your device soon, and that means you'll be among the first to try out Android 16 with Samsung's custom interface. Just don't expect dramatic changes, and at least not yet. This update seems more focused on stability and refinement than innovation. It's Samsung trying to get its software back on track, and that might actually be what's needed right now. After. All flashy features are great, but if the core experience isn't solid, users are going to get frustrated. And in 2025, with competition fiercer than ever, Samsung really can't afford to mess this up. To sum it all up, one UI 8 doesn't look like a revolution, but it doesn't need to be. It just needs to work, and it needs to work well. That's what will restore trust after One UI 7 and keep Galaxy users happy. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Are you excited for One UI 8, or are you still cautious after the problems with the previous version? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you want to stay up to date with all the latest Samsung news, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.